now first of all i am not talking about technically exactly what is written in each page of 25 pages i am not discussing that first of all i am giving an overview of the entire precine material then i am not going to read one by one line of the precine no point it is very boring in the class but wherever i found that some relevant things are there which we can forget where i need to say some technical big area some discussion i need to do then i will be opening those those areas and i will be discussing that okay that is my objective in coming to hours do ghanta mein yahi karne wala hu beech beech mein aapko kuch puchna hai if you are a, having any doubt you can paste your requirement here in the chat box just give me some time i will definitely reply lekin suppose you cannot wait yourself you have to get the answer for that at that moment only you can unmute yourself and you can see there is no problem theek hai now as i said in the beginning that every precine material is about a particular industry and in that industry about a particular hypothetical organization so this is tour traveling industry and in that the hypothetical organization is happy well holiday if we talk about this industry holiday happy holiday or any when i did research then i found that tui group from germany thomas cook which is already gone in 2019 that was from uk jet 2 from uk and there is expedia from us these are the major organization which can be correlated with this type of happy well holiday company now suppose i want to go for a holiday normally in our case one of my you can say a student i'm talking facts one of my student see each earlier my name my has my student is vidhi goenka and she was there earlier in singapore then she moved to south africa and then she again came back to india in bangalore she is from kolkata and she was my student around 20 years back exactly i don't remember she was my student in cfa classes ikfa university cfa classes now around 20 years back around not 20 around 15 years back my wife did a job in one of the organization in india why i am creating this story it has meaning and not story it's a facts it's not a story that my wife was working in a forex company in kolkata where my student this student vidhi goenka was working so they both become friend bosom friend at that time now whenever we are going for any holiday maybe suppose we are planning for a foreign holiday just now some time back we went to vietnam or maybe australia or maybe i am not been to australia but suppose we are planning for any holiday then vidhi and her husband have visited their traveling is their passion they like traveling like anything but they don't book any of their things whether it's a hotel whether it's a roaming somewhere whether it's transfer from airport to any hotel they do everything on their own they have their habit they know because they have visited more than 100 countries and for every country they know that what is the thing and all that so they can manage we don't have so much experience so whenever we make a trip with them we have already done two three trips with them one in south africa one in vietnam and all that then we always we means i am not a person who see a single website even for booking airline tickets i don't have time that will be done by my wife that will be done by them or anybody i am not the person who will go make my trip and all that mere paas ye samay nahi hai i am not saying i am very busy person but ye time mere paas nahi hai so i am not a very good person in this but then these person when they do they are not booking their trip from tui jet to or any ex, i mean to say they are not booking their trip like that 
they book their airline tickets separately they book their hotel separately talking to hotel wala they book their transfer from airport to hotel separately they book whatever we will be doing there where we will be going some tickets some boating some sen- scenic beauty or something some sightseeing everything they book on their own no third party involved all booking direct but then it is a very painful job because you will see five hotels and then you will sit with me prakash kaun sa hotel mein jana hai ek bar dekho na see you mane see it saying me sir sir aap dekhiye na kaun sa hotel jana hai yaar nahi dekhna hai yaar i always say that jo aap log ko acha lag raha hai chalega but then they get angry ki ghumne jayega want to enjoy but not interested in giving one minute also so for that reason i mean to say that it's not essential that when we are going for any vacation or maybe any business trip or anything that we need to book the trip totality the flight the accommodation the fooding and all that everything in one go like a package it is not essential but still in world there are big corporates who are offering holiday package holiday it's not business trip case study because it is naming the word holiday package holiday happy holiday happy well holiday so there are some organizations in the world established for years 50 100 150 years and they are offering package to holiday that they will be doing the flights they will be doing the hotel they will be looking after transfers they will be looking after your insurance they will be looking after your car hire they will be looking after your sightseeing your boating and everything whatever you want to do top to bottom package it's a package package to holiday these types of what do you say traveling companies tour operating companies are very big because they have airplanes they have flights they have hotels they have cars vehicles they have you can say maybe contact with the insurance companies they have whatever the resources it's we can see these are vertical type of organization they are doing different types of business we have in the world airline company separate we have in the world hotel separate we have in the world the transportation car bus is separate everything is separate but they bring all the things together on one table and maybe they are doing that which with their contracts with third parties or maybe they have their own facility like the information which they have given about happy well holiday they are saying that this company has their 97 flights this company has in 28 countries their number of hotels i don't remember exactly the number of hotels they have their arrangement with the insurance companies with car hiring facilities with uh, local sightseeing people and all that they have their arrangements they have their personal coach and all that to transfer one place to another all the things they are there so it's a very big business big investment by that maybe by that maybe they are able to give better satisfaction to customers because my type of person if you ask me my wife and vidhi is not there i will be selecting this type of holiday only itna kon karega yaar ki i will ask airline flight i will ask accommodation i will ask this itna nahi hai time mere paas so aur na mera interest hai usme bas ek website pe gaye और मे बी आई विल विजिट अ ट्रेवल एजेंट और अ टूर ऑपरेटर उससे जाके बातचीत किया समझा कि भाई कहां है क्या डेस्टिनेशन है क्या क्या होएगा बस बुक कर दिया हो गया मे बी दैट इज नॉट एक्सेंचरस मे बी नॉट गुड और बैड आई डोंट नो अकॉर्डिंग टू मी दैट टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विल बी एबल टू ऑपरेट एट इकोनॉमीज ऑफ स्केल दे आर ओन फ्लाइट डोंट नीड टू शेयर द you can say intermediary is not there their own hotels their own resources are there then in that case they don't need to share with the intermediary any other expenditures any other markup so their cost is lower they will be able to offer the holiday at a better price 
the same holiday if i will manage from different different places different different things then maybe my cost will be higher maybe my time resources involvement will be more maybe i will not be satisfied if i am doing that because many times it happens that when we book different different resources at different places then what happens that at the different places somewhere we are getting good facility somewhere bad because from here if i am booking something in uk in germany in south africa anywhere main to keval photo scene website dekhkar hi soch sakta hu na but if there is a big brand if there is a tuy group thomas cook group who are running the package holiday deals for more than 50 70 years a trust comes and they can show you they can guide you that wo log itne saal se ye sab kar rahe hain to normally in developed countries package holidays are already very famous in developing country asian countries india china and all that that is developing because in india and china and asian countries the per capita income disposable income is increasing economic growth is good so people are interested in saving money even in europe also even in usa also but kya ho raha hai ki normally when you were doing something suppose you were doing job service i am doing business apne mein busy hai hamare paas time nahi hai so for that reason we want that somebody a package holiday will give us a package deal everything will be better i will be able to concentrate on my work on my family and the package deal is ready for me the best type of hotel the best flight the best arrangement the best fooding the best thing which i will be doing there and everything for my family can be done in one go at the same time money is less it is cheaper it is cheaper so for that reason i am interested in these types of holidays but i am not saying all fingers are same different persons have different attitude different understanding this whatever whether i will say happy well holiday a package holiday company or maybe it's a small small players guiding the because there are individuals we have in kolkata there is an in all over the world bni business networking institute i think you all must have heard in dubai uk everywhere the bni is there so we have in kolkata there is a bni branch in that my wife goes every week one day in a week just to meet with the business people from kolkata in the bni there is a travel agent and that travel agent is arranging exotic holidays for persons those who are ready to spend good amount Exp um, you can see that on two trees on trees there will be some arrangement where you will be sleeping and enjoying your life for two days on a tree different different type of exotic holidays which are costly but which will not be available on tui or all these types of things they that they their client are totally different different group they are targeting they are arranging them for them the ex money different types of holidays their business is also running very well they have also made arrangements with the hotel with the transfers with the airplanes and all that when they able to generate revenue when they able to generate customers but these tui or any package happy happy well holiday companies what they have done they are bringing economies of scale suppose there are people who are interested in going to australia in the month of may june now they will hire the entire airplane week basis or fortnightly basis 14 days basis they will convert or their customers in that flight one go they will bring them in one go so in the entire flight their passengers will be there they can maintain the flight they can think about all the flight maintenance they have their hotels in australia and different countries they will ask the person and that hotels are very well maintained they are five star plus the facilities you will be getting fantastic at the same time they are charging less giving you total solution bringing economies of scale because they are able to bring volume more customers per customer the revenue is more per customer the cost is less and they are able to give you better satisfaction unique experience differential treatment which will not be possible if you do on a stand alone basis 
which will not be possible if you don't go for package holiday. But this is a, uh, what do you say? I will say this age is IT age, information age. आप कोई भी LinkedIn, Facebook, कहीं भी आप जाइए सोशल मीडिया पे कोई भी जन जो कोई भी चीज बेच रहा है Insta पे रील बनाना Facebook पे वीडियो बनाना LinkedIn पे इंफॉर्मेशन देना Twitter में ट्वीट करना और क्या क्या आएगा मालूम नहीं है सर लिमिट नहीं है सर क्या क्या आएगा तो आज ऐसा दिन आ गया है कि दीज बिग कंपनीज हु आर ऑफरिंग पैकेज हॉलीडेज दे आर फेसिंग अ बिग टफ टाइफ टफ फाइट विथ स्मॉल प्लेयर्स Which we say small travel agents. एक ऑफिस खोल लिया एक आदमी है चार पांच उसके साथ इंप्लॉई है वो सारा बेनिफिट भी आपको दे रहा है और वो अपना मार्केटिंग कर रहा है कितना लोग क्या क्या काम कर रहे हैं यार दे आर इज इट इज नॉट दैट एवरीबडी नीड टू जू जॉब ओनली जस्ट बाई हैविंग ऑन द सोशल मीडिया अ बेसिक मार्क इफ यू ऑल हैव सीन सार्क टैंक द लेडी इन द लास्ट सीजन दैट इज एडिशन टू द हेयर That lady is doing marketing just on his own, on her own, and she is generating revenue of fifteen, twenty crores in one and two year just by selling Edison to hairs. And she was telling that I have never done any marketing, just Instagram reels, and that reel prepared by herself only. Then I mean to say that, that Sara individual players world me small small players. facebook they have understood the importance of technology they have understood the importance of social media by that they are directly approaching the customers who want to do something aapko agar thoda time hai thoda mehnat hai aap lene ke liye ready hain jaise my wife and the vidhi do to wo log kar sakte hain zyada tar mota moti trip acha hi hota hai badhiya hi hota hai apne marzi mutabik hota hai because if you go for package holiday you need to work in a scheduled way aise itna baje ye 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 you can't break it because it is along with others na that is scheduled package holidays but this is exotic holidays not maybe the charges higher or not it's possible so these types of companies are facing problems from these small players like anything but these small players like a travel agent appointing four or five persons those travel agents always face problem because they are able to offer to a hotel one or two clients three clients four clients but tui can offer to the hotel entire hotel booked by tui lo so they can't compete with tui but then the tui need to become like that small agents tui why not tui offer the this small agent to sell their package why not tui make their websites in such a way which is very interacting that even though it's a package holiday but you are giving them the customer the option of flights the legways the different types of hotels based on charges fooding this food that food so why not everything should not be available on the tui website also why not tv tui will be using or happy happy well holiday should be using digital that is digital technology for that to compete to survive they need to go beyond their imagination they need to work like a small agent and at the same time maintaining their differentiality maintaining their uniqueness maintaining their economies of scale maintaining the clients inflows because why that thomas cook when i shared the video the reason being that you may find the problem question in the exam that there is a problem in happy well they are not able to pay the debt what can the options and all that so when we know something happened with a company just like happy well holiday then in that case if we know we can prepare in advance slightly what we will be writing in that situation for that reason some of the videos taken from the youtube to give you feeling that how this business works at the same time we always say that whenever a country able to attract visitors for holiday then the country will be getting huge foreign currency inflows agar india mein bahut sara log ghumne aayega 
तो वो लोग बाहर का करेंसी इंडिया में लेकर आएगा डॉलर पाउंड यूरो वट एवर इंडिया विल बी ग्रोइंग इंडियन फॉरन एक्सचेंज रिजर्व विल बी इंक्रीजिंग इंडिया विल बिकम सुपर पावर इंडिया विल बिकम मोर वेल्थियर फॉरन करेंसी तो सारा वर्ल्ड को चाहिए सो एवरी कंट्री प्रमोट देयर टूरिज्म एंड ऑल दैट अर्लियर अमिताभ बच्चन वज से चार दिन तो गुजारो गुजरात में देर आर सो मेनी एड्स बाय द फेमस पर्सन बाय एक्टर एक्ट्रेसेस स्पोर्ट्स मैन इंफ्लुएंसर्स एंड ऑल दैट आर डूइंग स्टिल रील फिल सब बनते रहता उतना मैं नहीं जाता बट मैं एक बात बोल रहा हूं आई मीन टू से दैट कि ये जो इंडस्ट्री है इसमें मार्केटिंग एक बहुत बड़ा चैलेंज है वेदर सोशल मीडिया वेदर बाई अ फिजिकल प्लेस वेदर बाई एन इंफ्लुएंसर योर मार्केटिंग शुड बी वेरी गुड बट मार्केटिंग डज नॉट मीन मार्केटिंग गुड बट द क्वालिटी ऑफ द सर्विस इज बैड यू कैन सस्टेन द क्वालिटी ऑफ होटल द क्वालिटी ऑफ ट्रांसफर द क्वालिटी ऑफ हेल्प टू द कस्टमर शुड बी एट द टॉप लेवल इट्स इन एवरी बिजनेस बट इन दिस बिजनेस वी कैन सी मोर एंड मोर वी कैन ऑल्सो सी दैट इन दिस बिजनेस bargaining power of buyers are increasing because the buyers can go for a package holiday buyers can go a normal holiday which is not packaged from a small players travel agents and all that bargaining power of buyers are very high they have different options because of the social media development now to attract the customers for your package holiday you need to give them the unique service you need to give them the differentiated service at a better price price come service better that you need to give which is possible by your business management by your business venture we understand that maybe the happy well type of company are having this happy well type of company are having their flights having their hotels having their other facilities also i'm not questioning but then the question is that they need to procure so many things from outside normally for vehicles they are arranging with others normally which we can see that insurance or other transfers they are arranging with others or so many things you can say some side saying or anything they are arranging with others those things they need to have a very good arrangement with the suppliers the suppliers should be giving best satis because if i am going say on in australia and i have done a packaged holiday with tuy group now when i am going there in australia i am not getting a proper service maybe those services are given to me by third party not by tui but i will consider that it is given to me by tui company only because i booked the package holiday na so if i am not satisfied i will complain tui group only and that actually tui group is facing problems because of the supplier so their contract with the supplier should be at the highest level the service level agreement the contracts the features everything should be at proper level then only they can give satisfaction to the customers we always say that these package holiday companies need to have good brand goodwill when they have a brand and goodwill when they have image when they have this developed how they will develop by providing quality service by positive feedback from the customers by loyal customers by reg mane repeat customers by you can see that in general the magazines or somewhere our better services are be promoted then automatically when these types of companies will offer their products will offer their packages the customer will be subscribing those packages so they need to think about proper brand goodwill proper maintenance of assets proper finance funding because regularly they need to do marketing by involving influencers in magazines by different different means they need to do the marketing they need to invest in the assets in their what do you say tangible assets in property in airplane and all that and intangible assets every time they need to invest so they require regular source of funding they need to use it they need to use social media they need to think about environment their play airplane should not be creating pollution more than what is allowed their hotels should be sustainable their hotels should be thinking about minimizing the wastages their hotels 
should be thinking about giving the service to the customers at faster pace. Their hotels should be well maintained. Their hotels should not be using the energy more than what is allowed. They should think about sustainability, environment protection. There are so many holidays in the world, maybe in the package or non-package and all that, where the holiday will be enjoyed through the animals, use of animals. Maybe elephant ride, maybe swimming with the, what do you say, any type of dolphin and all that, that should not be allowed because that is affecting the natural habitant. So the sustainability ethics is also an issue in this type of industry that Happy Well Holiday or any company should be doing their business in ethical manner. Because of the last 3-4 years, the Corona, whether Corona gone or not, I am not questioning. But nowadays, the people are more concerned about health. So health safety of the customers, health safety of the employees are going to the next level. More sanitization, more this thing should be done by these types of organizations. Because they are dealing with the general public, with the consumers and all that. Now, we understand that, suppose in Kolkata, there is something very famous. Kolkata culture, Kolkata rasgulla or something, whatever. The Kolkata rich culture, whatever. The holiday companies are saying that, Kolkata culture is this, come enjoy in Kolkata, do this. But they should be paying proper remuneration to Kolkata people. Because they will be developing economy. But suppose they are not giving proper pay to the suppliers, to the people who are hired from Kolkata. They are paying lower wages and all that. They should not be doing that. Because if you are not giving proper remuneration to the suppliers, that means you are unethical. You are not doing because nowadays the business is not going to develop. Just that. I mean to say you can generate sales, you can control expenditures, but how much sustainable you are, how much you are thinking about environment, how much energy resources you are using, how much environment protection you are doing, that also in young generations is very important. So these types of companies need to think about that. These types of companies are managing so many employees. In airplane, in flights, in accommodation, in hotels, in transfer. So many persons are working in different, different areas. Those persons, recruitment, selection, training, motivation. So that they can give the service to the staff, to the customers in a proper level. is also very essential. Then these types of companies have so many assets. They are accounting treatment. Whether it's a depreciation, amortization, then you can see revaluation of assets. They have said in the pre seen material, in every country our accommodation is a subsidiary. So group accounting, consolidation, goodwill and you can say revenue recognition. We are getting the fees from the customers in advance. Then later on they go, when we can record it as a revenue. There are so many accounting issues also. We can say that this is an industry where regular developments are happening day by day. This is an industry which is affected by IT and digital technology. This is an industry which is affected by external factors. Maybe it's a natural calamity, maybe it's a corona, maybe it's a war, maybe it's any other thing in any other country. Maybe not a war, some countries are not giving visa for coming to the country for travel for this that so many problems are there this in this industry at the same time since so many employees so many new new customers we are regularly dealing their requirement their expectation their way their culture their all the system their problems their issues management of risk it's a very difficult business to manage it's not an easy business i am not saying that this business Nobody can run because I was just discussing with my wife. I project that maybe after three years, I don't know. There will be an artificial intelligence where you don't need to put anything. You will open that AI and it will be telling, where do you want to go? I will say Australia. When do you want to go? I will say between mid of April or mid of May. Then what? type of uh, 
फ्लाइट्स यू वॉन्ट फर्स्ट क्लास दिस दैट ए आई विल डू एवरी थिंग फॉर मी तब ये टी यू आई का क्या होगा देन हैप्पी वेल विल बी देयर वॉट बिकॉज द वे द टेक्नोलॉजी इज डेवलप्ड ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड आई एम वेरी अफ्रीड बिकॉज आई मीन टू से दैट इट्स नो मोर द गूगल वेन यू सर्च ऑन गूगल गूगल इज गिविंग यू इंफॉर्मेशन विच आर जेनरल बट वेन यू डू सर्च ऑन चैट जीपीटी इट इज गिविंग यू स्पेसिफिक इंफॉर्मेशन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन योर सर्च एंड देन देर आर सो मेनी न्यूज चैनल आज तक सना द ए आई सी सेंग ऑल द न्यूज विदाउट यार ये तो कहा मैंने वे आर द होल वर्ल्ड इज गोइंग यू नो दैट ऑलरेडी इन आवर हाउसेस we don't need to get up to open the door to switch on the ac to switch on the fan electricity light this that even in the freezer order to the suppliers sab apne aap ho raha hai artificial intelligence ek naye level pe ja raha hai i am not questioning that it will take away jobs or businesses but the job mane employees and the businesses need to be proactive they need to be better than the ai they need to use ai in their system to help customers to do their business this is a business that type koi rocket science to hai nahi na kahan jana hai kitni din ke liye jana hai kab jana hai kaisi flight chahiye kaisa accommodation chahiye wahan ghumne ka badhiya cheez kya hai sab aise bhi to google jo chat gpt hai ya koi bhi ai hai wo aur better way mein aapke search ko help karega on google you were searching for 2 hours then you get the result here you will get the result in 2 minutes so the company's website the companies mane where they have offices they need to have that type of system that they will be able to help the client like an ai like an artificial intelligence they need to be proactive what ai can do they need to do things which ai cannot do then in that case these types of organization can survive because going forward in coming 4 to 5 years it's a very difficult time for every type of business even for my business also i'm not questioning about them suppose you can do research on your own who is stopping you to do the research about the case study getting the materials and all you can do earlier the research was on google now the research can be much better way possible so why the student will be joining the classes i need to be proactive i need to be ready for the changes which is going to come a student log ko jab main bolta hu you will study on screen write on screen they will say sir i don't have the habit then you are destroying yourself forget about exam change is the only thing which we need to accept if we don't accept change we will destroy ourselves that we need to understand so i mean to say that they have written in the pre seen material first of all first page you are the happy well finance manager happy well is a quoted company from westland the currency is w dollar the then the company prepare their financials as per ifrs they are engaged in the package to travel business you are the finance manager you will manage accounting finance and management matters in the company then they started giving information about the industry that what is this industry all about what is package holiday what is the flights what is accommodation what is transfers what is sight seeing this that who are the players who are the tour operator who are the travel agents and all that that they said then they said about westlandian there is a wtol organization where every package holiday will be insured so if you face any problem the insurance company will help you and all that that they have written then they have come to writing about this company happy well they formed in 1970 so they are established for 50 years initially they started their package holiday but there are some changes in the world they face problem but they always put pressure on the quality satisfaction and all that so they able to grow continuously they able to grow their customers they were serving around 2018 around 50 million customers and now they are serving 80 million customers they have their business who are the competitors their financials their business their departments aviation dep- department then what do you say the accommodation department transfer department it department finance department most of them are the cost centers how they are managing their business then their financials last year current year pl account balance sheet notes to accounts then about a competitor exactly equal to us 
Mangu sire, they are financiers, but the, our competitor is having their flights, but they don't have their hotels. We have our hotels, they don't have their hotels. And those hotels, they are, have a contract like us on the hotels, which does not belong to Mangu sire. But those hotels, everywhere the branding of Mangu sire is there. Because those hotels with which, with whom Mangu sire has a contract, those hotels are given to Mangu sire fully for renting purpose, for their clients only. So maybe the Mangu sire is not having the hotels, but they have the good connection with the suppliers of the hotels and they are giving a good fight to our company happy well even though we have the hotel and in the end they have given some newspaper clips the newspaper clips are relating to one the gap in the flight one seat to another seat the distance 71 centimeter 81 centimeter what is the meaning about that then they have given some information relating to lounge service at different airports. When you are waiting for the flights, you can go into lounge. You can, you can say you can take a rest when your flight is 2-3 hours late because in international flights, this regularly happens. Then we can see that they have said about insurance companies, products, what type of insurance they offer in the travel insurance. Then they have said that suppose you are in a flight and the flight is delayed half an hour, 40 minutes because of some issue, technical issue that he rectified some three, four write-ups in the pre-seen material. This all thing which they have written, obviously giving us information about the industry, about happy well, about happy well board management, they are directors, they are executive, non-executive directors, they are business, they are competitors, they are financiers and some newspaper clips. What question will come, from which area will come, I, you don't know. But every question is very practical. Not written in any material, E2, P2, F2. Thoda bout F2 is technical, but other than that, nothing technical. So suppose just Jinisa was saying that, Sir, relating to performance, I write balance scorecard. I will not write balance scorecard. For performance evaluation, I will write my own understanding. Suppose I want to write performance appraisal of happy well holiday. Now I am analyzing the performance of, uh, what do you say, aviation department. The performance of aviation department depends upon what? How many times the flights are delayed? The percentage of flights delayed in say six months, in one year. The flights means kitana bar udan, ude. How many times we went from one place to another? And in those times, how many times we delayed? How many complaints we received in flight by any passenger, by any customer? How many times there is technical faults arises? Maybe this is as per balance scorecard only customer complaint, customer perspective, technical problem that means process, internal process I will not write a balance scorecard I will make a practical I will write a practical I will write a practical and it will be logical so I will not give a number of examiner to me no number of it every place you have to have your common sense practicality आप बहुत ज्यादा किताबी ज्ञान में जाने की चेष्टा करिए ही मत कोई बोलेगा आईटी आईटी सॉफ्टवेयर हार्डवेयर आपको मेरे को किसी को भी नहीं आता है और आप सीमा का पूरा किताब पढ़ लीजिए देन आल्सो यू विल नॉट बी गेटिंग आईटी बिकॉज वी आर नॉट हार्डवेयर सॉफ्टवेयर पर्सन हमको आईटी से क्या चाहिए हमको चाहिए एक इफ समबडी लॉगिंग इन आवर वेबसाइट दैट इज हैप्पी वेल वेबसाइट आई वॉन्ट दैट इट शुड बी नेविगेशन शुड बी वेरी ईजी it should be user friendly. When I want to check dates, when I want to check locations, it should be giving me those information very fast. It should be giving me comparative analysis relating to different accommodations very fast. It should be giving me information relating to any particular location, what are the important areas to visit. It should be giving me information relating to information, whether it's an hardware, software. We need website information from the website. अब वो इंफॉर्मेशन कैसे वहां अरेंज किया जाएगा विच हार्डवेयर दैट इज नॉट माई लुकआउट माई लुकआउट इज अ यूजर फ्रेंडली वेबसाइट यूजर फ्रेंडली बिहेवियर 
या अगर कोई जन हमारे 311 शॉप्स में आता है तो मेरे को चाहिए कि जो भी ट्रेवल एजेंट वहां उसको सर्विस दे रहे हैं दैट पर्सन शुड बी गिविंग फुल इंफॉर्मेशन टू दैट पर्सन दैट पर्सन शुड बी गिविंग डिजायर्ड इंफॉर्मेशन इन अ प्रॉपर वे वो उसको प्रॉपर वे में इंफॉर्मेशन दे समझाए जो जो उसका डाउट है उसको दूर करे सो आई नीड टू ट्रेन द ट्रेवल एजेंट देयर माई स्टाफ दोज हु आर सर्विसिंग देयर कि भाई दे विल बी एबल टू रिप्लाई टू द पर्सन प्रॉपरली एवरी थिंग फॉर दैट आई कैन इंस्टॉल एन ए आई देयर दैट दे विल बी गोइंग इन माई ऑफिस इन दी ऑफिस देयर इज एन ए आई दे विल क्लिक 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 ऑल ए आई विल आंसर दो चार साल में हो जाएगा अगर थ्री हंड्रेड इलेवन शॉप्स दे है इन द प्री सीन दे है थ्री हंड्रेड इन इलेवन फिजिकल शॉप्स वे आर फिजिकल रिटेल प्लेसेस वे आर वी कैन गो एंड वी कैन टेक सजेशन वे आर वी शुड गो एंड ऑल दैट वहां पर एआई रहेगा आदमी नहीं रहेगा बैंक में एआई रहेगा आप बैंक पे जाएंगे चेक जमा करने पैसा उठाने एआई पैसा देगा लेगा सब कॉस्टली नहीं होएगा वो ह्यूमन बींग से ह्यूमन बींग्स क्या करेगा फिर सोचना है भाई द होल वर्ल्ड इज ए वेरी आई मीन टू से क्वेश्चनेबल व्हाट विल हैपन टू डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ जॉब्स वेन एवरीथिंग विल बी डन बाई ए देन वॉट विल हैपन टू एनी जॉब्स विच इज देयर यू नीड टू बी बेटर देन ए आई दैट्स द सिंपल आंसर If you are not better than AI, you will be facing problem. I mean to say that to Genesa and everybody, God has given us so much brain. We have worked in the industry for seven, ten years, not in a package holiday, but in any industry. Just apply your common sense, your practical knowledge. When you will be writing answers, you will find that in the class. i will be saying better answers which are more practical as compared to which are technical so much subro you have visited so many places so many countries so many travel you have done business personal aap se zyada to koi janta hi nahi hai yaar is industry ko aap apna common sense lagaiye you just apply your common sense you will be able to write answers for every question but if you puzzled yourself i don't know any technical area mere ko bhi nahi yaad hai हमको भी नहीं आता है टेक्निकल एग्जाम ये नहीं है विच विल बी पॉसिबल बाय रेगुलर राइटिंग आंसर्स, रेगुलर राइटिंग प्रैक्टिस नॉट इन वन डे यू डू रिसर्च बट देन यू राइट द स्टफ इन योर ओन लैंग्वेज इन योर ओन अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑटोमेटिकली यू विल फील दैट इट इज वन ऑफ द इजिएस्ट एग्जाम टू पास एंड प्रिपेयर मैं यहां पर अंदर अंदर एक एक जगह नहीं जा रहा हूं सबसे पहले जो मैंने सोच के रखा है Soom Subro, you say yes, but always you ask illogical question in WhatsApp, sir. Then I think that you are so knowledgeable person. कहे को ऐसे tension लेते हैं sir. एक बात सोचिए fail हो गया क्या होएगा? One thing also. Suppose I gave the exam, I couldn't pass. क्या हुआ? कोई जिंदगी खराब हो गया? दो महीना बाद फिर exam है. मई में से अगस्त में यार tension कम करो ना यार. Exam fail होने से थोड़ी ना जिंदगी परवाद हो गया. ये बहुत यार है. Why we will fail? बट फेल हो गए हो गए क्या है यार बी काम कूल फेल ऑफ एनी एग्जाम इज नॉट एंड ऑफ लाइफ इट्स जस्ट एन एग्जाम इफ एनी प्लेयर इन अ मैच इज गेटिंग आउट एट जीरो दैट डजेंट मीन दैट द प्लेयर इज बैड दूसरे के बारे में समझ में आता अपने बारे में क्यों नहीं आता फेल होने से क्या होगा कुछ नहीं होगा कुछ नहीं प्रॉब्लम है कोई बात नहीं बस दो महीना थोड़ा बढ़ जाएगा we will be able to give exam again after 2 months only nothing else so keep calm ek bar thoda sa basic first of all i am doing some financial analysis just for 10 minutes they have given the financial statement of happy well annual report for 31st december year ending december 21 december 2022 that means 3 months back in these 3 months also the company is doing operations that information is not given their revenue is around in million million means five zeros are further so on 21 376 five zeros nahi six zeros million means six zero one million means 10 lakh so 10 lakh means six zeros and this is 22 698 million so revenue gone up cost of revenue 18000 to 19000 the increase in revenue is around 1300 but increase in cost is around 1500 so for that reason the gross profit has gone down in absolute term last year 3300 
this year 3193 administration expenses has gone down administration is a fixed expense our fixed expenses has gone down maybe we have left some staff or maybe we have left some rented offices or something is there because normally when the revenue goes up karcha badna chahi but the administration expenditure is a fixed expenditure not variable it even though revenue gone up there that has gone down maybe some decrease in the activity of administration selling an admin the advertisement gone up if you don't do selling advertising influential marketing social media marketing you will not be able to attract customers so operating profit has gone up because gross profit down some benefit because of administration but selling has gone up so the operating profit is very less as compared to last year absolute term finance cost slightly gone up maybe we have taken more loan profit before tax tax based on the income the tax is there 246 by 11 111 will be coming around i think 20 percent plus this is also can anybody calculate the percentage of tax last year 246 by 1118 246 by triple one eight forget about points what is the percentage coming 246 divided by 1118 246 divided by 1118 please what are what if anybody is sitting with the calculator 246 divided by 1118 22 percent and the current year 2022 170 divided by 776 170 divided by 776 170 divided by 776 that means the tax rate is lower than last year what is the reason for this 22 to 21 percent what can be the reason why the tax siege rate is lower than last year anybody som subro when your profit is 1118 to 776 for that reason tax is 246 to 170 the lower is because of the lower income but why the rate is lower if you earn 100 you were paying last year 22 current year if you earn 100 you are paying 21 why in place of tax change we need to understand in this tax how this tax is calculated this is not the tax which we are paying to government this is the tax in the books of accounts in the books of accounts we record tax expense based on accounting policy accounting policy says that when i teach sbr accounting i says that a knowledgeable person will not say that this is the profit a knowledgeable accountant will say that how much profit you want so based on accounting data we can say that we have done better tax planning based on our accounts the tax expense is at a lower rate as compared to last year genies are no concerned with inflation inflation will be relevant for cash expenses this is not the tax we have paid to government this is the tax expense on accrual basis in pl account the payment to government may be some different amount and because of inflation the tax rate will be higher not lower so the reason is that accounting policies accounting principles accounting matter of tax management the person who is managing the tax matters in the business each managing in a better way for that reason the tax rates are lower this is accounting in books of accounts by showing lower tax you can say higher income but in the income tax act the tax rules of the income tax department will follow the income tax department is not going to consider this is as a tax expense they will demand whatever is as per income tax is the demand amount as far as accounting point of view we can say that we are managing our tax matters from perspective of the books of accounts financial statement in better way because 22 to 20 you know or one way may be possible tax rate has gone down 
the government has reduced tax rates in 2022 as compared to 21. That also may be one reason. When we will be studying in our SBR syllabus, first of all, we are going to complete tomorrow the leasing. Then we will complete uh, this revenue recognition. Then we will complete this taxation. Deferred tax, provisions for tax, current tax, advanced tax, all these things we are going to complete in coming 10 days. By 23rd, we will complete. You will find. So when we will complete, then you will have a better understanding relating to this tax expense. But this is not inflation. This is not because of change in the strategy or anything. It is better a tax management accounting point of view. Or maybe there is a lower tax rate. That is the reason. More detailed, we will be able to study when we study taxation in our morning classes, Monday, Wednesday, in coming two weeks in a better way. Then they have given the company share capital, last year retained earning, foreign currency, total, then during the year profit, during the year profit from PL account 605, added in the retained earnings, dividends out of 605, 321, more than 50% of our earnings we are giving as dividend. Then foreign currency reserve further minus 845. Anybody knows what is foreign currency? What is this? Any knowledge? What is this foreign currency? Again, I will say that <laughs> Som Subro, when you joined one month back, what you were doing, man? No answer. They could not require. You think, are you following me or not? And again, if you don't follow me, then in that case, we cannot pass the exam, sir. I am saying that relating to foreign currency, there are two things. One is foreign currency transactions and one is foreign subsidiary. Foreign currency transactions I will cover up in Monday Wednesday class. A reporting currency is the currency in which you prepare your financials. But functional currency is the currency in which you function. Normally in my case, my reporting and functional currency is INR. My both are same. But the foreign exchange rate, how it gives a figure, why it is coming, we will discuss. I am not discussing now in the morning Monday Wednesday class. So one day Prasant was saying that, Prasant or Pritam, I don't remember anyone. Somebody was saying that, sir, why we will refer SBR classes? Sir, these are technical things, sir. Sir, these are not common sense. So if you don't refer those classes, then how you understand technicality, sir? Okay. So you cannot raise questions, sir, I will not do SBR class. Sir, I don't need to study that. You will find that just after 15-20 days, when so many things I cover in the morning classes, now you will find problems only in those areas only. You will not find problem in pricing, in business and this, that. Because that to be know already. Problem will be there in that only. And if you are not following that, then the problem will remain. So I am not doing any of you have to do any of all are logical ki aapko jo karna chahiye sir. Thik hai? So I will discuss foreign currency, not now. I will discuss. Intangible assets. Now what is intangible assets? What can be the intangible asset in this company? This we have studied in Monday Wednesday class. Now I will not accept. You will say I don't know. Goodwill. Jinisa is saying goodwill. Jinisa in the morning classes we have studied IS 38, intangible assets. That is already covered. Can we record goodwill in the balance sheet? Saraf Academy goodwill, can I record in the balance sheet? So how come they are recording intangible as? Can I record brand in the balance sheet? TUI brand, Happy Well brand. Can I record brand as an asset in the balance sheet? Ritankar. When we can record an asset in the balance sheet? When we can record an intangible asset in the balance sheet? 
if it is self generated but you know how much expenditure you have incurred specifically then even self generated you can record but for goodwill what expenditure we have incurred we can't say for branding what we expenditure we have incurred we can't say i gave the example of my logo so many things in the class these are all these are all either if we have developed then we have incurred expenditure which is identifiable or maybe these are procured from others these are acquired from others by giving consideration so if the cost can be identified and if the economic benefit will be generated from the assets then in that case they will be treated as asset for intangible asset they are non identifiable they should be identifiable could be in identifiable they are not in physical substance here they have said in the pre scene we have in 28 countries 28 subsidiary they have said so when we acquire a subsidiary then definitely we must have paid more than the assets value so whatever we paid extra that is goodwill so maybe there is goodwill maybe there is some r and d we have done we have developed some software we have developed some technical know how to attract customers developed some ai developed some digital assets don't know that may be the assets that is intangible assets maybe we have yes it is identifiable separately when suppose i am acquiring a business they have the identifiable assets 100 crore and i am paying to that business 120 crore so why i am paying 20 crore extra uh, that's the so that goodwill can be here because we have 28 subsidiaries they have said in every country we have a subsidiary ha ah. that will generate economic benefit because with the subsidiary you will be able to do business there you will be able to attract customers they will be going for moving there for holiday so there is economic benefit going to be generated identified cost is there identifiable so that will be recorded i said in is 38 when i taught in the class in the morning then i said that goodwill we will study in if forestry business combinations but i just gave this feeling that this type of goodwill we can record but i cannot record my own goodwill because of doing business for 25 years because that i cannot identify but if you acquire other business and you pay more than the business assets value then that is called identified goodwill that you can record so this can include goodwill this can include digital as digital assets this can include some software or something those types of intangible assets are there they have gone down why why the intangible assets from last year to current year is lower than last year why why the intangible assets from last year to current year lower than last year jini sai saying it can be license yes we have some license in other countries to go there to take our customers there maybe some property i mean to say why the value has gone down i was asking 2771 to 2648 why why from last year to current year intangible assets value is lower than last year in the assets there are two things one is further addition and the second is depreciation for intangible assets we see amortization amortization and further purchase or maybe sale also normally we generally don't sell the assets because we want to grow unless and until the asset is outdated it is not giving economic benefit it is fully utilized then in that case other so the chances are there that the depreciation amortization is more than the addition in the assets because if there is addition and then amortization addition is more than amortization then the value will increase which happened with property plant and equipment the value is greater that means the addition in the assets is more than the depreciation but in case of intangible assets the amortization is more than the addition in another, another third uh, third uh, another uh, yeah ha uh, another cost tell me uh,
So that's why uh, last year it the uh, amount was high. But then the amount is less, na? We are saying that two double yeah, seven. That is completed. Uh -huh. that is completed because uh, no amortization will be charged for that one. What you are giving logic that no matter then the asset value will be more in current year as compared to last year. If there is addition, if there is a new amor, new asset developed, then the current year figure will be greater than two double seven one, na? But the current year figure is less than the last year figure. So the reason for this is amortization is more than the further addition. In case of property, plant and equipment, addition is more than the depreciation. Because the value has gone up. Or maybe you can say revaluation. Relating to intangible asset, there is revaluation down. Or maybe relating to tangible asset, revaluation up. We can follow for generally tangible assets, revaluation or cost model, whichever one. For intangible assets, we generally follow the cost model only. But maybe for an intangible asset where the market value can be determined properly, then in that case we can follow revaluation model. Can any question comes? It can. It came in the exam earlier. Humko kya malum kya dega? To jo hum log IS 16, IS 40, 20, IS 38, IS 36, IFRS 5, ye sab kiye hain, uska gyan to hona padega na. और यहां पर ये टेक्निकल है आप अगर ये नहीं जानते एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन आएगा आप कुछ नहीं लिख पाएंगे इसमें कॉमन सेंस नहीं काम आएगा अकाउंटिंग एरिया कैन नॉट बी आंसर्ड ऑन कॉमन सेंस सो एज आई एम सेइंग इन द बिगिनिंग मॉर्निंग क्लासेस इफ यू आर नॉट डूइंग प्रैक्टिसिंग क्वेश्चंस इन राइटिंग नॉट मे बी लाइक आई एफ आर एस और एस स्टूडेंट एटलीस्ट वन और टू क्वेश्चन यू शुड राइट इन because if you don't practice in writing, you can't write the answers when the question will come in exam. Sab log samajh lijiye sir bhai. Kyunki jo ho gaya, wo bhi to gaayab ho raha hai na. Jo nahi hua, wo to chaliye bol sakte hai ki baaki hai sir abhi. Need to understand. Inventory. Hotel mein inventory kya ho gaya? What is the inventory they are talking? What type of inventory they are? Room is an inventory. <laughs> Genies are not allowed. Room is a non-current asset. Property, plant, any. You can say vegetables. You can say room cleaning items. You can say, yeah. You can say that in flight, so many spare parts and all that we are using. Wo sab inventory hai. Sir, sir, I have to ask a question. Haan? No, sir. If you remember the number, then you write. If you don't remember the number, don't write. There is no penalty if you are not writing the numbers. No penalty, sir. Don't take tension. Okay? So inventory is whatever business they are doing, not rooms, not flights. Rooms, flights are property, plant and equipment. This is inventory. Other than that, in the flights, some consumables, some food items, some crockery, cutlery, these, that. All these things are there. That is inventory, they have slightly gone up. Trade receivable. How come the receivables are there? When they are asking the customer to pay the amount before going for travel, then how come the receivables will arise? If you say in my balance sheet, there is no receivables. You all have paid the fees, then you join the classes. So how come the receivable debtors will come? But in their balance sheet, how come the receivable? What is B2B? You give me logic. B2B means? One person, one by one. Otherwise, both the voice are getting echoed. Sorry. Not getting, sir, slightly more detail what you are saying. Okay, for example, if I went on safari, suppose uh, to, with some Google Driver, and when I land there, I, uh, I uh, you know, in, the, in our package, 
politics. There was that, you know, food, this and that. But I, I consume some more. And, you know, there, there were some other uh, uh, new, new things when I went there. And then, you know, it, at least uh, ultimately I, I, I rather, you know, I, I, I can say that. Yes, sir, you can I say this. More, uh, yes. You know, you paid 1 lakh, but you consumed 1 lakh 20. So 20,000 receivable from you. Yes. Okay, sir. Any other things as receivables? Not here. Anything from any insurance company? Definitely, yes, sir. We are selling insurance policies to our customers. The insurance company policy. So when the in customer is paying, then the commission we will be receiving from the insurance company later. We are selling so many third party products to our customers. So those third party will be giving us our commission not on every transaction but on monthly basis, on whatever the payment cycle is there. So this is mainly the commission amount and some small amount may be there what Tajamul is saying. Because normally in package holiday, the customer cannot enjoy more than what they have what they have booked. If they want to enjoy more, they need to pay in advance. Because normally in this type of industry, there is no credit. If there is B2B, as Jinisa was saying, ki we have sold some hal holiday package through some other business provider, through some agent. The agent is going to give us money later. They have not yet given. They have collected from the customer maybe one time that. Maybe there is third party commission arrangements or maybe there is some amount which Tajamul may be saying the chances are less. The major is B2B and the major is commission receipts. Okay, so you are correct. And then our cash and bank balance is given. Then we can say share capital, the figure is same from last year to current year. Retained earnings after adding the current year income minus dividend which they have shown above. This is the retained earning figure. That is all share capital, retained earning all, 2219, 845. All these figures are written here. Loans have increased from last year to current year. For that reason, the finance cost in the PL account is more. Trade payables, whatever facilities, whatever suppliers we have, maybe any flight, mm, food, anything, whatever. The suppliers need to be paid, that is payables. Advance payments. What is this advance payments? What is this advance payments? The passengers or customers have booked for travel. They have not yet enjoyed the travel. I booked the travel for the month of May. Given some 10% deposit. I will be paying balance amount 10 days before the trip. But whatever I paid is not an income for them till the time I am not utilizing. So that is treated as advance payment. Suppose, here one example. Just a basic example. There are so many we will discuss later. Suppose I have booked with Happy Well Holiday today a trip for 15th May. 15th May I will be going for a trip. My son school holiday will be there. The classes are over. I will be going for a trip. I am not going. I am just giving example. Ki on 15th May I will be going for a trip. I am booking now. The trip will be to a country and some places, the hotel accommodation, everything is coming 5 lakh. I paid 10% 50,000 to them. They will record 50,000 as a liability because I have not gone for the trip. I have paid. Now the balance money I need to pay, you will say 15 days before the trip. So by end of April. Now suppose by end of April, I have not paid the balance 90% money. So what will happen with this 10% money? Sir, normally this 10% money, normally, this 10% money is non-refundable, normally. If you say that you know a traveler who is refunding, that's other thing. But normally the package holidays are saying that this is non-refundable. The 10% deposit which you pay to book the seat, accommodation and everything, they will not refund you. But by end of April, I have not paid the balance money. Then what will happen with this money, which I paid to them?
that will be treated as revenue by them they cannot record revenue today because today i am going to go for the trip on mid may so today the service is not enjoyed it is liability for them but when the period is over when i can pay the balance amount and it is forfeited the forfeit amount becomes revenue at the end of april either i need to communicate i need to take approval for some delay or all that if i am not doing anything that means money gone and when the refund period when the adjustment period is over that will be treated as revenue Yes, sir. That for example, every year so there are certain certain customers and they did not come back, uh -huh. and the money has already gone to the organization. Uh -huh. So it will be misleading income, or it will it straight away goes to revenue. It is go to revenue because it is for revenue purpose only, na? It is not that loss by theft, fire, or something that you say miscellaneous income. It is revenue only. This is our activity. Suppose you join the classes. you paid the fees but you are not attending the classes you are not doing live you are not doing recording you are not doing anything then what is it for me my revenue it is not a lottery income or something which you say miscellaneous income this is my business activity you paid you are not enjoying the service what should i do theek na so that is revenue only because this is our revenue generating activity now this tax liability is different than what is there in the pl account in pl account the tax expense based on current year accrual principle current year expense but in the balance sheet whatever each payable we have not yet paid so that is the liability in the balance sheet more discussion about tax we will be doing in monday wednesday classes and in short we will be discussing after monday wednesday class discussion here also don't worry but abhi hum wo sab bolne jayega be kaam ka time waste hoega inventory comprises consumables used in aircraft maintenance or in hotel operations trade receivables are largely commission payable by third parties for whom happy well has made sales advance payment are deposits and payments made in advance by customers for holidays that have not yet been taken place now this is mango share our major competitor mango share is a tour operator based in westland same country that is happy well largest direct competitor Mango Air owns and operates its own aircraft like us, but does not own any hotels. They don't have accommodation hotels. Mango Air has a own ongoing arrangement granting it the exclusive use of all of the rooms in 306 hotels. They have the exclusive arrangement with 306 hotels where all our customers will be going. In case of Happy Well, they have their own hotels. here the hotels are not belonging to mango share but then mango share have specific arrangements from these 306 hotels our passengers will be going there our customers will be going there the hotels are branded as if they belong to mango share sab jagah mango share likha hua hai the hotel property not belonging to mango share but everywhere in the hotel mango share written with signs bearing mango share logo in all public area sab jagah so it doesn't look different than happy well in the happy well hotel happy well written in mango sir hotel mango sir written but mango sir does not own them but happy well own them consolidated statement of profit or loss 20000 to 21336 what was their revenue their revenue is 21 to 22 slightly more slightly more but their revenue is also very good amount cost of revenue 19 187 to 19 their their cost has gone a very less their their revenue has gone up by good amount but cost has not gone up so much so their profit has gone up in our case gross profit was down administration expenses they have also good saving selling they have also increased then finance cost they have also slightly increased tax if you calculate percentage 37 by 171 how much 37 by 171 how much Thirty-seven point seven by one seventy-one point five, and current year hundred and eleven by five zero five. 
111 by 505. 111 by 505. How much? 111 by 505. How much? 22 percent. So in their case, the tax rate has gone up. But in our case, the tax rate has gone down. So we are doing better tax management as compared to our competitor. Then the, on the same revenue, our revenue is slightly higher, but their profit is half. We are earning 605. They are earning 393. So their profit is very less as compared to our income, but their revenue is more or less equal to ours. Their share capital is very less. Ours is 2,500. Then out of the profit, they have also paid out of 400, 200 dividend. Then their intangible assets is around half. Their property, plant and equipment is also half. Their inventory is half. Their trade receivables is... How much our trade receivables? Our trade receivable and their trade receivable are more or less same. Bank is same. Share capital is less, retained earning less, foreign exchange differences are half, loans they have 400 to 600, loans such 50% more. In our case, 1800 to 2100, both the company has taken more loan, but they have taken more debt. Trade payables, then advance payment, then taxes and all that are there. Now, on a same revenue they are generating income 400 and mota moti slightly more not very big difference our revenue 22 they have 21,500 1,000 more but our income is 605 why in the same business same type of assets same business same customer same type of business our income on a revenue of 22,500 is 605 but their income on a revenue of 21,500 is. What is this better finance management? I am not getting. Go into deep. Don't use English words. Why we, you are saying we have a better market cap? How? Ha ha, police. Not the market cap. I mean, uh, I mean, since you said the profit between both the companies is not that much, but uh, our, you know, our financials are better. Why? That is I am asking. जब आप एग्जाम में आंसर लिखेंगे आप ऐसे ही कुछ भी बोलेगा ना एग्जामिनर बस <laughs> समझ लीजिए लॉजिक होना पड़ेगा हो सकता है कि मेरा लॉजिक आपसे अलग है लेकिन दोनों सही है बट इफ द आउटकम इज सेट विदाउट एनी लॉजिक दे विल नॉट एक्सेप्ट द आंसर सो दिस इज विदाउट लॉजिक सर गिव लॉजिक आप बोलेंगे प्रॉफिट हम लोग बोल रहे हैं कि यहां पर टैक्स 21 22 हम लोग का भी तो 21 22 परसेंट है थोड़ा सा ही तो टैक्स के कारण थोड़ी ना प्रॉफिट 600 से 400 हो गया दिस इज आल्सो टेकिंग जस्ट अ कंफ्यूजिंग लैंग्वेज सर व्हाट डू वी मीन बाय इफेक्टिव मैनेजमेंट out of the data given where you can see effective management in our case is better than them. What you can see? How? Sir, can you see the operating figure of uh, uh, the Honeywell ones? Operating profit? Ek kaam karte hai, sir. Mm. Sorry, a whole time lag jayega. This figure... Q1 
केवल एक ही बात है कि हम लोग के केस में प्रॉपर्टी हमारा है उनके केस में प्रॉपर्टी उनका नहीं है बस एक ही बात है तो आप जो ये सोच रहे हैं ना कि दिस इज नाइन जीरो सेवन इन देयर केस इट इज लेस दिस बेसिकली वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट उन लोग का जो प्रॉपर्टी है वो रेंटेड प्रॉपर्टी है सारा होटल्स एंड वी हैव अवर ओन होटल्स so because of that in their case if suppose you have 300 hotels so entire management of the hotel you need to look after but i have hotels on rent basis the management will look after by the owner i am not managing that so my administration expenditures are approximately double than them because i need to manage my hotels my own hotels in their case the hotel belongs to third party दूसरा बात समझिएगा एक बात जब हम लोग अपना इनकम 605 है जो भी है अगर हम लोग अपना एसेट्स यू कैन सी दी एसेट्स आर 12,807 इफ यू डिवाइड योर इनकम 605 डिवाइडेड बाय 12,807 एसेट्स देन ऑन योर इन्वेस्टमेंट इन द बिजनेस हाउ मच रिटर्न यू आर गेटिंग 12,807 पे 605 विल बी कमिंग अराउंड फाइव Six zero five divided by twelve thousand eight hundred and seven. How much? Six zero five divided by twelve thousand eight hundred and seven. Profit divided by assets. Actually, we should not be calculating six zero five, because when I am saying twelve thousand eight hundred and seven, it is debt and equity both. So I should be using operating profit nine twenty three, not this, because nine twenty three is the income generated for a debt holder for equity holders both. So nine twenty three divided by twelve thousand eight hundred and seven. How much? Nine twenty three divided by twelve thousand eight hundred and seven. How much? Seven point two percent. Now in their case, you calculate this is operating income five forty seven, and the total assets in the balance sheet is eight one zero eight. so it is 547 divided by 8108 547 divided by 8108 547 divided by 8108 how much it is coming now this difference even though it is 0.5% difference but this difference is not very large in our case operating income is 7.2% in their case operating income is 6.7% in their case in the assets the property is not there the hotel property is not there in the balance sheet in property plant and equipment in our case in property plant and equipment our hotels are there because we are the owner of the hotels they are not the owner of the hotels they have a third party arrangement with the hotel owner to send their customers there we are generating better operating income because in our hotels we are able to control the hotel related operational expenditures in a better way but in their case when they are taking hotels from others they are giving them the profit margin also na if the hotel wala expenditure is 100 they will not be giving you rooms at 100 they will be charging you 103 104 105 so in their case the operating profit margin is lower because they are not having their own hotels but in our case our own hotels are there now if they have the hotels on rental basis the hotels which they have on rental basis whether they can record those hotels in the balance sheet or not no acha we are studying in our classes in the morning monday wednesday leasing and tajamul we have done the hot leasing in may 2022 and november 2022 also at both the time when i took the accounting classes we discussed in leasing so in the last class only when i was discussing leasing in the class that is last wednesday what i discussed that if the assets are on rental basis for more than 12 months 
if the rental basis is for more than 12 months then it is following lease accounting and you need to record the assets right to use asset in the balance sheet you will be recording right to use asset in the balance sheet as per IFRS 16 lease accounting Prasant if we don't know this technicality we can't write the technicality is there only in the IFRS area in other areas technicalities are not there for that reason you all are asked to attend those classes or if you don't attend do the recordings of those classes everybody how you will write this is not common sense if you say that there is a customer facing problem on the social media some issue he is writing common sense but how the accounting issue you will say common sense how samajhiye aap log khud hi samajhiye to uske liye kya karna chahiye ya to hum log apne classes mein accounting ko aur detail mein padhe ya aapko alag se bahut acha se accounting padhaya jaye jisse ki aap usse related question ka answer kar paaye मेरे को थोड़ी ना इच्छा नहीं है कि हम आपको E2 और P2 ना पढ़ाएं। I want, but there is no requirement. Common sense लगा लेंगे। Accounting में common sense नहीं लगेगा। आपको थोड़ा technical ज्ञान होना पड़ेगा। यही problem है सर accounting का। The question is that here we have arrangement with the hotel wala that my customer will be going in your hotels. We have not taken any arrangement of right to use hotel as per my understanding. So we cannot record. You understand that. Suppose I am a travel agent in Kolkata and in Kolkata there is uh, you can say Lalit. There is Great Eastern Lalit Hotel or there is some other hotel. I connected with hotel wala. I said that I am a travel agent. I told them that whenever my clients will be coming, my customers will be coming from outside. I will be offering your rooms only. You offer for me a better rate and I will be offering the normal rate which you are offering to your clients. And I will be earning commission. That arrangement Mangu Sayer has done with the hotel wala. But why the hotel wala is putting the holdings of the mongoose here because mongoose here had said that in every season we will be bringing occupancy of 70-80% in your hotel. But the mongoose here has not gone into leasing or anything, any arrangement with the hotel wala. For that reason they may not be recording the hotel as a lease asset, as a right to use asset in their balance sheet. No sir, here I am saying that it is not a leasing at all. Here there is just an arrangement that when my customer will be coming, they will be staying in your hotel and I will help you to increase your occupancy of the hotel in season, non-season period. I am doing this for you for so many years and I will be doing in future also. So there is no finance or operating lease concept here. The risk will be there for happy well also. If they have their own hotel and if in a particular season customers are not there because of pandemic, because of natural calamity, because of war, because of any government regulation, anything, the risk is there in every hotel, sir. It's not only for Mangus here. This is the business nature. During Corona time for one and a half year approximately 2021, the occupancy rate in hotel was less than 5% sir. You can see only the walls, nobody is there in the rooms. <laughs> so that is not a question for rented hotel, that is normally this is the business risk. If they will build up Tajamul in the exam that we have entered into a lease contract with 
property provider that in the property only our customer will go, no outsider will go, we are taking on lease. Then we need to analyze if it is greater than 12 months, we need to follow IFRS 16 lease accounting as a lessee, we will be recording right to use asset in the books. That I don't think so. Because that type of feeling I have not developed by reading the pre -seen. Yes, sir. Contractual arrangement is that we will be bringing good occupancy in your hotel, which we are doing for years. And in com coming years also, I will be bringing good customers. I will be increasing your occupancy. You offer a subsidized rate for me, which I will be able to offer to my customer in package holiday deal. That this is the rate of the accommodation. But there is nothing that I have taken on rent the hotel from the owner. That I have not done. Like if you are entering, like in case of Happy Well also, they have the arrangement from the car company, from the insurance company. They are not selling their own car or something. With the car provider, they are saying that our customers will be coming. They will be using your car. You will be able to run occupancy of your assets and all that. But we are not taking on hire or lease any of your car. So Happy Well is doing car this way. They are doing car and hotel both in this way. That feeling I am getting, I am not thinking that they have entered into a lease arrangements. They have just entered into contractual arrangements that our customers will be using their facility. We will be giving them the revenue, good amount, so they need to give us commission. Their assets belong to them, their risk belong to them, their maintenance belong to them, everything they will take care. Just that we are giving them business. Yes. Maybe monthly basis bill will be settled every month. No, no compulsion that monthly, maybe 15 days, maybe bi-monthly, it can be anything. But in Mangusair, here, we are getting the commission for the occupancy for the customer who are residing in that hotel. And in case of Happy Well, the revenue in respect of hotel is pure revenue. There is no question of commission because that hotel belongs to me. Right, right. Hana? माने हम लोग जब पढ़ रहे हैं तो हम लोग इसके अंदर घुस जाएंगे ऐसे ऐसे घुसना पड़ेगा और जब मान लीजिए ऐसा कोई दो चार मान लीजिए आप मैनेजमेंट लेवल स्ट्रेटजिक लेवल दोनों बार करोगे तो आपको एक बिजनेस को पढ़ने का समझ में आएगा बिकॉज़ बिजनेस क्या होता है कैसे होता है फिगर्स कहां से जनरेट होता है बिजनेस में क्या प्रॉब्लम्स है क्या इश्यूज है सीमा आपको वो सिखा रहा है सीमा आपको टेक्निकल पर्सन नहीं बना रहा है तो आप लोग कोई को भी थोड़ा बहुत अकाउंटिंग के अलावा कोई टेक्निकल ज्ञान लेना ही नहीं है आपको टेक्निकल आता है नहीं आता है कोई प्रॉब्लम ही नहीं है थोड़ा सा अकाउंटिंग में मेहनत कर लीजिए भाई नहीं तो अकाउंटिंग गड़बड़ हो जाएगा एग्जाम में सो दिस व्हेन आई फाउंड दैट व्हेन आई रियलाइज दैट कि दे हैव द सेम रेवेन्यू देन व्हाई देयर इनकम इज लेस देन आई थॉट दैट आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग दिस इन द क्लास टू गिव यू फीलिंग दैट कि बोथ आर इन द सेम बिजनेस बोथ आर ऑफ द सेम लेवल दे हैव गिवन अ चार्ट बिफोर दिस and in the chart they have said that ki both these businesses have equal market share you were saying the market cap they have said a chart in this chart if you see then they have said that happy well and mangu share both have 25 25 50 percent market share they both are equal the difference in the revenue is not much difference is see moda modi same but still happy well income is much greater than mangu share because they have their own hotel mangu share don't have their own hotel so Mangu Sayer need to share some portion of profit with the hotel provider. But happy well keeping the hotel profit also with themselves. Hamara agar happy well mein kharcha 100 dollar hai. Toh Mangu Sayer ka hotel mein bhi 100 dollar hai. 
but mangus here a hotel provider hotel owner are charging 105 from mangus here but happy well me 100 ke upar balance income hai for that reason they are operating income margin are better than the mangus here but then the risk challenges management and all that in happy well is bigger than as compared to mangus here Even Mangus here also, sir. Because suppose you are a customer, you are going on Happy Well website, you are going on Mangus here website. In both the website, who is the owner of the hotel? Nobody is showing. Owner se kya matlab hai? Customer should be getting that feel in the hotel when they will be going for holiday. That satisfaction they should be getting. But inside, Happy Well need to manage a bigger business because they belong hotel owner. Mangus Air need to manage a lesser bigger business because Mangus Air is not the owner of the hotel. But then service to the customer should be of high level for both of them. Sir, for example, if we compare these two entities, huh? it means that there are two persons. One has its own house, the other has a rented, rented house. house. Yes, sir. Yeah. Huh. Yes, that is the case. So when your own house you are incurring lesser expenditures because your own only cost but rented house you are paying the cost plus the margin so rental expenditure goes up so profit goes down but when profit goes down the maintenance and all that in the rented house taken by the owner but in your own house you are taking the maintenance into consideration you have to think about your own house This is one thing which is focusing on two financials. Yes, Som Subro, tell me. No, sir, uh, you explained the logic. Huh. Right? Because I was thinking uh, uh, about the digital technology usage. Uh -huh. But then, uh, because uh, both the companies are almost at par. It is just the they are competing with the same customer. Yeah. Same they are, uh, and they are giving same services. The customer is not concerned, it's your hotel or rented hotel. I am concerned with quality of service. I am concerned with value of money. I am concerned the best quality service. Yes, sir. Haan, sir. So technology to dono ko use karna hai, digitization, ye sab, ye to dono ke upar hi padega, sir. Now, one thing which I also want to concentrate here. Suppose they are saying here, package holidays also offer financial safeguards that are not available on other types of bookings. Package holidays also offer financial safeguards that are not available on other types of booking. Other type of booking means which are not package holiday. You are booking flights separately, accommodation separately, which is not a package. In the package holiday, there is a financial safeguard. What is that? West Landian law requires package holiday operators to be registered with the West Landian travel operators license scheme. These both the companies, all the companies, this case study is about Westland. Westland is no country in the world. You can take any example, but you remain with Westland only. In the Westland, the law requires that all package holiday operators, that means Happy Well, Mangus Air, others, all package holiday operators to be registered with the Westlandian travel operators license scheme. You need to register with WTOL. Tour operators must make a payment in respect of each package holiday. Each package holiday, they need to pay some amount to WTOL that they sell into in a fund that is administered by WTOL. The fund is used to refund the customers if their tour operators goes out of the business before they travel. The fund is used to refund customers if their tour operator goes out of business before they travel. In 2019, Thomas Cook gone. Suppose I booked a holiday with Thomas Cook. Once they are insolvent, they gone. How I will go? Why my money gone? So my money will be refunded by WTOL. 
the fund is used by wto well to organize flights to repatriate customers who are stranded overseas if their tour operator goes out of business during their holidays mal nije suppose happy well holiday goes out of business and you are going in europe for holiday now aapko lane ke liye flight hi nahi hai mangu mane happy well to gaya to this insurance which is a wto well will help you to bring you from there to here they will take the responsibility so in the package holiday this is the benefit if you are not going for the package holiday you are going for separate holiday separate arrangements and all that more customized holidays and all that where package holiday rules are not applicable then in that case you will not be getting benefit of the insurance policy so package holiday the cost is less package holiday everything book that one go efficiency the better the for the company it is better they will be able to bring it and at the same time there is a benefit of insurance cover for every package holiday wtl will help you to cover up if there is any problem happen with the package tour provider happy well or mangus air or anybody but it should be a package holiday Yes, sir. Traveling in the sense you booked that. Suppose I booked the travel for fifteenth April, but for fifteenth April they before that they already go out of order. What will happen to my money which is paid? They will pay us. And if I travelled to some other place and then they go out of order, how we will come from there? WTO will help. either you will come on your own they will make you the payment whatever expenditure you will incur extra or they will help you to come from there but it should be only for package holiday remember so if there will be any question in exam which is questioning that advantage disadvantage you need to focus on package holiday or some designed specific holidays then this is one of the benefit and disadvantage advantage now relating to this insurance there is one thing written in the newspaper clips what they are writing travel column travel insurance make sure that you have adequate travel insurance when you go on holiday this is newspaper article newspaper may be times news or anywhere this is coming so this is saying that this is westlandian daily news me aaya hai this is saying that make sure that whenever you travel you should cover yourself proper insurance amount travel insurance provides cover in case of holiday disasters foreign visitors have to pay for medical treatment in most countries and that treatment is usually expensive i went for a holiday in uk and i met with an you can say accident some problem my health or issues wtol is not giving that money insurance company will give that money travel insurance because wtol is for insolvency of the tour provider but insurance policy is for other risk travel insurance covers the cost of replacing belongings that are lost or stolen while on holiday so your medical your goods security cost associated with cancelled holidays can also be recovered if a customer cannot travel because of illness or the holiday is cancelled because the resort hotel has to close because of the health and safety concerns then the insurance company will refund any lost deposits or payments wto well will pay you when the tour operator will be insolvent but if there is any regulatory change the tour is cancelled anything happened then the insurance will compensate you insurance premium are set according to the insured risk for example elderly passengers are often charged more because there is a high risk that they will require medical attention insurance companies always include exclu exclusions in the wordings this is not covered like that these are effectively warnings that certain risk are not covered by policy for example a customer who participate in hazardous activity such as motor cycling while on holiday is unlikely to be covered for any medical treatment required as a result of crashing a racing car आप यूरोप में जाके रेसिंग में भाग ले रहे हैं भाई लो इंश्योरेंस कंपनी उसका कवर नहीं करेगा करना भी है तो आप अलग से कराइए दैट इज नॉट नॉर्मल ट्रेवल इंश्योरेंस 
इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज विल ऑल्सो रिफ्यूज टू मेक पेमेंट इन द इवेंट ऑफ प्री एक्सिस्टिंग कंडीशन For example, if you book a holiday in a destination where frequent bad weather can result in a long flight delays, वहाँ हो सकता है. You must have seen the Amitabh Bachchan movie recently came three four months back. I don't remember. क्या नाम था? Anybody has seen? Amitabh Bachchan and their friends went for a holiday, and Pariniti Chopra was there. I forget the name of the. So Amitabh Bachchan has already an existing disease. Doctor said him, "Don't go." He went away, and then he faced with the problem. Insurance cover will not be there for that, sir. When some risky areas are there, already you should not be going. You are going. Insurance cover is not there. Then it is unlikely that you will be compensated if you lose two days of your holiday because the weather delayed your flight. आपको कोई पैसा नहीं मिलेगा, because आप ओखली में सिर्फ डाल रहे हैं, और अगर वैसा इंश्योरेंस आपको कवर करना भी है. तो आप स्पेसिफिकली वो इंश्योरेंस कवर करवाइए नॉर्मली वेन एवर वी हैव ट्रेवल्ड आउटसाइड इंडिया वी हैव ऑलवेज ट्रेवल्ड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एन इंश्योरेंस ट्रेवल इंश्योरेंस वी हैव डन इन वन टाइम आई डोंट रिमेंबर वी वेंट टू साउथ अफ्रीका देयर वाज सम मेडिकल इश्यू एंड देन वट एवर एक्सपेंडिचर आई इनकर्ड आई गेट बैक फ्रॉम द इंश्योरेंस कंपनी सो नॉर्मली दे आर सेंग अबाउट इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ इंश्योरेंस Whether it's a WTOL, whether it's a normal insurance, अलग से दे रहे हैं। बीच में और भी कहीं लिखा है मैं भूल गया कोई पैराग्राफ में। There are many who generally goes for trip, not only holiday, business trip. They do the insurance for the whole year. एक ही बार में सारा साल भर का। Like we do life insurance, medical insurance, they do travel insurance for the whole year. And then whatever problem arises, insurance company will meet, will help. The travel companies should always promote insurance to the travelers. Reason being that when any problem arises with the traveler, they will fight with the travel tour company only. But if the travel tour company will promote the insurance, maybe on their own, maybe as a third party, it is ethical responsibility of the travelers to do that. Travel tour operator to do that. Because बाद में झमेला लेने के बजाय पहले ही ले लो यार. Insurance will be just one or two percent of your tour cost. It is very less costly, but the risk is covered. There will not be any problem with the traveler. They will not be questioning the travel tour operator that they are bad and all that. So it is not a question of earning. It is a question of ethical responsibility that educating the traveler to take the insurance before going for holiday. बात यहाँ पर ये चल रहा है. That is the crux of these information. then comes they are saying that in our happy well holiday there are different departments one is aviation one is hotel one is local experience one is marketing one is human resource one is information technology one is finance we have different departments they have mentioned everywhere that all these departments are cost center there are three types of center cost center profit center investment center cost center means like suppose aviation department obviously they are concerned with the flights uh, cost of flight uh, then maintenance those who are crew in the flight their salary and all that they are concerned with that portion that is a cost center how we are going to evaluate their performance what should be the cost they should incur what is the actual cost they have incur whether they have incurred the cost less than what should be there that we will consider okay but can we say that it is a profit center because whatever revenue we are generating whatever revenue we are generating from the customers that is for aviation that is for hotel that is for other services can we allocate a portion of the revenue for the flights for the aviation and we analyze how much profit we have generated from the aviation center from the aviation department or should we continue it as a cost center only what do you think so for that reason you were saying that we should be evaluating cost basis or we should be evaluating their performance on profit or investment center basis but basically we, we, we are evaluating we have to evaluate all the related cost you know the, the expenditure and at the same time the, the, the revenue which we which we receive from all these uh, uh, cost centers 
you are not getting my question again i am coming whether you are a cost center whether you are a profit center whether you are an investment center in every case the cost will be identified for the center for the department for the division that's okay yes. i am saying that they are analyzing the performance of this department based on cost they are not analyzing the performance based on profit or investment center so do you want to say or whether your suggestion is that whatever they are doing is correct or they should change the policy they should evaluate the performance based on profit or investment center that i am asking the, the, the performance can be evaluated based on revenue that would be very very bad yeah in this case revenue yeah why how like for example i have different departments uh, aviation uh -huh. Uh -huh. So if if uh, if the profits are more, so ultimately uh, you know uh, it will add to my overall uh, profitability of a tour business. Suppose you are working in the aviation department, you and me both. We both are working in the aviation department of this Happy Well company, okay? And we are the top manager of aviation department. We are not the pilot. We are not the crew members. We are. We have ninety-seven flights. and entire 97 flights management and all that me and you are look after we are looking after so ultimately when the aviation department performance is getting evaluated it's actually evaluation of your and my performance because we are controlling the aviation department so you are saying that in place of cost mine and your performance should be evaluated So what is that productivity? How? Like better, uh, better service provided to the clients. How? The How we will measure that? For example, there's there's you know delay in package cancellation. Uh -huh. Number of tra travel should be completed within time uh, time line and all those. That is this. That means. Services provided. That means for performance evaluation there are two criteria. One is financial, one is non-financial. One is quantitative, one is qualitative. so you are talking about the performance evaluation should be mainly non financial and qualitative ha na customer satisfaction travel time delivery at a proper time delays in the flights maintenance accident all these ha na so no financial ground the perform you know for the managing director or the board of directors ultimately their objective is revenue so at the same time both <laughs> no problem when you will read the pre seen they have written that when the customer is going on our website when the customer is going on our website or they are going on our physical 311 shops they need to decide all the three things in one go first the flight the second accommodation the third transfer till the time they are not selecting all the three things we as a happy well holiday accommodation happy well holiday we are not giving any quotation to the client neither our system neither our physical offices so when we communicate to the client we say a bundle amount including aviation including flight including accommodation including transfer suppose i am going to uk they are giving me a bundle price 5 lakh now how i will divide 5 lakh between flights between accommodation between transfers how i will differentiate and if i can't do that then how i will calculate the in money performance based on revenue profit or all that how i will be doing that so okay uh, uh, as a client or as a tourist that is okay but for the company they have to do their cost analysis they are all they are already doing cost analysis they are calculating the cost of the aviation department because they are saying it as a cost center but then they are not calculating for the aviation revenue profit or anything because it's a cost center and they have said that ki they are charging the customer bundle amount not break up 
even the customer is not said what is the breakup of flight or accommodation or transfers then how we will be evaluating based on revenue or profit these departments बोलिए बोलिए सर यस प्रशांत डू यू वांट टू से टेल मी ओके सो यू वांट टू से दैट वी शुड कंटिन्यू कॉस्ट सेंटर बेसिस ओनली वी शुड नॉट एनालाइज बेस्ड ऑन रेवेन्यू और प्रॉफिट और समथिंग Okay. Okay. What's Tajamul? You will say. So much super want to say. Yes. Sir. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for my my query. But actually, sir, when we are when we are saying cost center or point center, they are basically you know uh, uh, the same. Basically, in a that's compartmentation. Like for example, you know, in my organization, we have engineering department, we have supply department. So that's natural that whenever the organization revenue is generated, it will be the accumulated uh, either revenue or either expenditure, and based on that we are preparing our budgets. I will say that ki maybe we are not telling to customers the breakup of revenue generated from flights or charges of flights or accommodation. but there are ways by which we can do that because there are flights on a stand alone basis from one place to another and how much they are charging there are on a stand alone basis for that type of hotel what should be the rental there are on market basis we can decide what is the transfer charges and on the basis basis of that ratio we can divide the total revenue collected from customers into three portions so for internal purpose we will be getting for our flight department aviation department revenue minus cost and we will see whether we are efficient in that whatever investment we have done in this aviation department are we getting proper return or not that we can analyze but then it requires extra efforts maybe we will be going with the transfer pricing concepts also that uh, aviation is transferring their customer to hotel hotel is transferring to what do you say trans transfers we can see that as per my understanding for internal purpose since aviation has its own investment aviation has its own cost and out of the revenue generated from the customers we can identify the revenue from the aviation that will help us that each individual department are on a stand alone basis are generating profit income or not that will help us to compete with others because there are avias there are only flight company there are only hotel company there are only transfer companies so we will be able to analyze each of our operations on industry norm basis and nowadays because of the it software because of the things which is possible which was not possible 10 12 years ago that should be done maybe that will increase our system performance and evaluation basis but that will give us a better picture along with the non financial non qualitative data we should be doing that mere hisab se karna chahiye kya lagta hai prashant ji ha huh? <laughs> no other thing i am saying that i understood sir but we are saying that under financial whether it should be only cost or it should be based on profit return on investment that we are discussing sir yes. hmm. uh, sir uh, can i come in yes yes why not yes sir so sir actually i i am i see the way uh, what you are saying i understand that we huh. need to uh, primarily huh. but presently profitability is not there for each center because we are not calculating any revenue separately we just know the cost yes so do we need to change our system that we are saying yes sir i, I agree i think we need to change our Achha. system from uh. not only cost but also the profit stage we uh. need to change uh. and uh, my logic uh, says says that that suppose i think i read somewhere hmm. 
दिस इज एक्चुअली द क्वेश्चन इन जिनिसा लाइन वेन जिनिसा सेट ना कि सर इन बैलेंस स्कोर कार्ड आई एम डूइंग द एनालिसिस परफॉर्मेंस इवेल्युएशन इज फाइनेंशियल नॉन फाइनेंशियल क्वालिटेटिव then quantitative then it depends upon profit only cost return on assets so many things are there whether you want to follow a model or not that's upon you but then this discussion you all understand maybe som subro you will say that sir mere ko technical knowledge nahi hai lekin abhi aap yahan par engage ho pa rahe hain lekin jaise hi accounting issue aa raha hai technicality aa ja raha hai prashant you understand when we are discussing something practical to case study mein 80% aisa hi hai आपको कोई किताबी ज्ञान नहीं चाहिए उसमें कोई मॉडल किताब में लिखा हुआ है नहीं लिखेंगे हम वो मॉडल आई एम नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन राइटिंग द मॉडल विच इज रिटन इन एनी बुक आई हैव माय कॉमन सेंस माय प्रैक्टिकलिटी आई वांट टू बिल्ड अप माय आंसर इन दैट वे नो प्रॉब्लम नो हार्म बट आप अकाउंटिंग एरिया नहीं कर सकते ऐसा क्या करें हाँ इट विल बी हंड्रेड परसेंट ओके सर वाई नॉट सपोज जिनिसा इज राइटिंग बैलेंस स्कोर कार्ड एंड देन यू आर राइटिंग नॉट बैलेंस स्कोर कार्ड इन योर ओन एक्सप्लेनेशन इन योर ओन डिजाइन वे दैट दीज आर द वे बाई विच यू विल बी डूइंग द परफॉर्मेंस इवेल्युएशन दीज आर द वे बाई विच यू विल बी इवेल्युएटिंग द परफॉर्मेंस वॉट्स हार्म इन दैट सर वॉट्स द प्रॉब्लम सर टेल मी फॉर गेट अबाउट एग्जाम then i can say that like i have discussed only for aviation for all the departments they are maintaining cost center principle in my mind it is coming we should convert some of the department profit center or investment center because maybe earlier it was difficult to do that but now a days because of the development of digital software it because of the big data management because of the information available from the social media easily that can be developed even by ai also so for that reason we should change our system that each center is a profit center each center is giving proper revenue proper return or not we should be analyzing mere ko aisa lagta hai karna chahiye business mein changes ki thodi zarurat hai ek jagah aur relating to their board structure they are saying that they have a ceo under ceo they have four directors one is the operation director one is the hr director one is the marketing director one is the finance director all these four persons what they are doing we common sense we know you cannot remember the word by word but you already know so these five are the executive directors and then happy well board also includes the non executive in the non executive one is chairman and the four are normal non executive directors they have not given the background details of these non executive directors what is their qualification what they are doing how long they are the non executive directors and all that they have not mentioned so relating to board structure given very less but normally when we talk of any listed company in india in uk in germany in us anywhere when they are listed they have a bigger responsibility relating to corporate governance a listed company need to manage all the stakeholders a listed company is doing business for shareholders suppliers customers financiers employees management sabke liye sabke liye kaam kar raha hai 
like any listed company in India, Reliance, ITC, PW, not PW, any company. सब में हम लोगों ने पैसे लगाए हैं हमें रिटर्न मिलना चाहिए स्टाफ काम कर रहे हैं जगह जगह उसका बिजनेस है कितने सारे स्टेक होल्डर्स हैं तो कॉर्पोरेट रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी कॉर्पोरेट मैनेजमेंट मैनेजिंग द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन अ लिस्टेड कंपनी फार ग्रेटर एज कंपेयर टू ए स्मॉल और नॉन लिस्टेड कंपनी लाइक सराफ अकेडमी और एनी उन लोग में होता है कि चेयरमैन एंड सीईओ शुड बी सेपरेट पर्सन वाई चेयरमैन इज कंट्रोलिंग द बोर्ड and ceo is controlling the business if the same person is controlling the board controlling the business then to why we are saying it is a company why not we say it is a proprietorship concern why not we say it is an entrepreneurial business india mein reliance mein reliance industries listed company kya naam hai uska reliance ambani ambani ji company mein chairman bhi hai aur company ka managing director bhi hai दोनों है इट इज नॉट गुड कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस वेन ही इज द चेयरमैन ही शुड नॉट बी द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर वेन ही इज द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ही शुड नॉट बी द चेयरमैन बट अंबानी क्या बोलते हैं हमारा इतना साल से बिजनेस चल रहा है कभी किसी को कोई प्रॉब्लम हुई है कभी शेयर का दाम ऐसा हुआ है नहीं बढ़ा कभी ऐसा हुआ कि लोन का पेमेंट नहीं किया कभी ऐसा हुआ कि इंप्लॉय लोग को सैलरी नहीं दिया कभी ऐसा हुआ कि सप्लायर को तकलीफ हुआ कभी ऐसा हुआ कि कस्टमर को सर्विस नहीं दिया तो बोला मेरे बिजनेस में मेरा जैसा आदमी ही मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर हो सकता है और जब शेयर होल्डर का मीटिंग वगैरह होता है तो हम लोग अंबानी जो बोलता उसको चैलेंज नहीं कर पाते हम लोग उसको बोल नहीं पाते वी कान से दैट यू आर रॉन्ग इन इंडिया एंड यूके वी हैव प्रिंसिपल बेस्ड कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस प्रिंसिपल बेस्ड मीन्स इफ समथिंग यू आर वायोलेटिंग इफ यू हैव रीजन टू जस्टिफाई दैट यू कैन वायोलेट बट इन यू यूएस we have socks rule based corporate governance if it is written in the rules ceo and chairman should be separate it has to be separate you can't give any logic but india principle based law follow karta hai yahan par already chairman aur ceo alag alag hai dusra the executive directors are total 5 1 plus 4 5 but the non executive director other than chairman are only 4 If the executive directors who are managing the business, they are doing anything wrong, they need to be stopped. उनको स्टॉप करने के लिए नॉन एग्जीक्यूटिव ही होएगा. But if the non executive are less in numbers, then four person cannot stop five persons from doing wrong thing. It is not a movie where one hero is hitting fifty persons. Movie तो है नहीं. पांच है तो पांच से लड़ने के लिए पांच आदमी चाहिए. Five for five, six for six. that is said as a better corporate governance here five executive and four non executive which is not good the balance is not there so if the executive directors are anything doing wrong then in that case non executive director will not be able to stop them that problem will arise third thing in all the listed companies we say that there should be an audit committee there should be a risk committee there should be a remuneration committee there should be a nomination committee kya hota hai ye sab audit committee audit committee ka kaam hai who will be the auditor what they will be doing analyzing the independence of auditors audit committee will check the internal system in the company risk committee what are the risk in the business whether they are managed properly whether adequate steps have been taken for managing the risk nomination committee if any director is retiring going who will be the new director what will be his qualification what will be his experience why he should be the director remuneration committee what should be the director executive director remuneration based on the employees based on the manager remuneration how much remuneration they should be paid they should not be paid more they should not be paid less because both is bad so in this type of listed companies those types of structures should be there whether they have we don't know nothing is written here whether they have audit committee risk committee nomination committee all that is there or not we don't know they have not given any information assume that is there but if they give anything in the exam that that is not there then we need to raise a question on that aap bolenge ye sab kyon chahiye in my company saraf academy i am the shareholder i am the director so if i am doing anything wrong it is adversely affecting me only in reliance industry i am the shareholder but i am not managing the business like me there are millions of shareholders 
they are not managing business of reliance we are saying that ambani and the executive director are managing the business but if the executive director are appointed by shareholders they are doing wrong who will stop them how my money will be safe anybody who has supplied goods to the company anybody who has given funding to the company anybody who is working there how they will be their interest will be safeguarded if the directors are not working if not functioning in a proper way so there is a heavy corporate governance the company should be governed by principles laws that is there in a listed company at higher level as compared to non listed company so that is there but that is not written anything any here just this is the information maybe we can expect something we will be giving in exams normally high level of corporate governance question they ask in a strategic case study but basic level they cover even in operational level also for that reason some basic knowledge should be there relating to basic understanding of corporate governance now what i have done i have written here which i will be sharing after the class first of all i have written around two pages about the tour industry travel tour industry then i have written in the one or two pages in the last 5 years how this business is performing last 5 years it is bad because of corona because of war because of natural calamity kahin par bahut zyada barish baad yahan to dubai mein bhi aajkal mane flood is coming so for that reason the tour industry or this industry is getting affected in last 5 years like anything not performed well the growth in other industries is very good as compared to this industry then i have written third part some examples of this industry tui jet to thomas cook expedia group all these how they are functioning what they are doing now when i have written i have not written anything which is just for the write up in my every single sentence write up i was thinking what you need to write in the exam why this write up is there for you not just giving you industry information आप ये सारा अगर दो बार तीन बार पढ़ लेंगे आप पूरी क्लास में देखेंगे पूरे चालीस दिन आपका सारा आंसर यहीं से हो जाएगा जो भी आपके मन में क्वेश्चंस में रेस करूंगा वो सब यहां पर कवर्ड है सब ए टू जेड द नोट्स आर प्रिपेयर्ड बाय लुकिंग एट व्हाट इज कमिंग इन द एग्जाम इन मैनेजमेंट की स्टडी वैसे सोचकर बनाया गया नॉट दैट जस्ट कॉपी पेस्टेड फ्रॉम एनी रीजन उसका सोचकर वॉट इज रिक्वायर्ड उस तरह से बनाया गया देन obviously there will be some questions in the exam relating to problems issues challenges some write up then they are asking to many challenges common way mein likh diya kya kya challenges is industry mein aane wale samay mein hone wala hai hame usko manage kaise karna hai <coughs> in every business these are the important areas where we need to perform well then only we can say that we can sustain so what are the important areas in this industry how we will be able to measure kpi how these areas you will be able to measure these measures whether you write through balance score card whether you write normally pura ka pura travel industry mein kya measures use kiya jata hai maine likh diya fir is industry mein assets bahut zaruri hai flights accommodation transfers this that so many assets are required intangible assets brand goodwill package tour to koi normal aadmi ka lega hi nahi na to all those assets which are required to do the business what type of resources we required which will be a common right but jo bhi answer aap likhenge sab jagah kaam aayega opportunities and threats aane wale samay mein is industry mein kya opportunities aane wali hai so growing demand for travel different types of travel टेक्नोलॉजी का यूसेज इमर्जिंग मार्केट इंडिया मैंने एशिया सस्टेनेबल टूरिज्म थिंकिंग अबाउट सस्टेनेबिलिटी प्रॉब्लम कंपिटिशन इकोनॉमिक इंस्टेबिलिटी पोलिटिकल इंस्टेबिलिटी टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांसमेंट एंड नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स इस तरह का इंडस्ट्री में अगर आपको ग्रो करना है आपको क्या क्या डिसीजन लेने हैं कौन सा कौन सा नया डेस्टिनेशन मेरे को लाना है प्राइसिंग क्या करना है सेल्स और मार्केटिंग कैसे करना है टेक्नोलॉजी को और बेटर कैसे यूज करना है और सप्लायर के साथ रिलेशनशिप कैसे मेंटेन करना है रिस्क को कैसे मैनेज करना है अगर आपको इस इंडस्ट्री का इन्वायरमेंट इन्वायरमेंट मींस आई एम नॉट टेकिंग माने विंटर और समर आई एम सेइंग इन्वायरमेंट इन द इंडस्ट्री 
पॉलिटिकल इन्वायरमेंट इकोनॉमिक टेक्नोलॉजिकल इन्वायरमेंटल लीगल एंड पेस्टल देन इन दिस इंडस्ट्री if somebody wants to enter in this industry somebody wants to go out of this industry what are the competitive factors in the industry how is the bargaining power of buyers suppliers substitutes new entrants all five points are written five forces analysis ethical factors business should be done ethically at least by a listed company this type of stitcher company so what are the ethical things they need to consider before doing their business accounting issues revenue recognition cost control tax compliance depreciation asset valuation foreign currency transactions inventory management all are accounting issues performance like jinisa was asking i have written balance score card ki how we will be able to do the balance score card analysis of this industry and the last one corporate governance which i was discussing at the end the corporate governance issues in this type of industry i'm not saying this is enough these are all written with 20 font size you will be writing an exam with 11 font size 11 font size mein jab aap answer likhoge ye 27 pages ka notes hai ye ban jayega 10 page it is just 10 page maine badhiya se saja kar sundar se likha hai but aap jab bhi pura 40 din jab aap padhoge aapko har din ye dhyan aayega har din isko use karna hai whatever your questions will be coming from core area a b c d e all five every area this is the common area for writing answers common understanding to understand this do bar teen bar isko padhenge pre seen material padhenge aur jitna had tak ho sake accounting ka technicality ko dur karte rahenge as much as possible then in that case feeling aayega abhi main aaj hi padhne nahi bol raha you need to take a target that in one week I need to read pre-seen material two times. I need to read this material two times. I need to what do you say? Core area A and B, जो सर देंगे उसका answers मेरे को लिखना है. आप अगर गिनोगे तो वो पूरा week में around fourteen fifteen hours से ज़्यादा पढ़ाई नहीं होएगा. वो पूरा उतना ही है. आपको बस regularly study करना है. ये नहीं सोचना है मैं pass होऊँगा नहीं होऊँगा होऊँगी नहीं. ज़रूरत नहीं है अपने आप होएगा. When you follow from the because अब आप delay नहीं कर सकते you will say अभी हम नहीं चालू किया ये सब फिर नहीं हो सकता then go on you have to start now you can't delay one second also अभी से जो बोला गया उसको आप follow करेंगे अपने आप exam pass हो जाएगा you don't have to take tension कि मैं pass होऊंगा नहीं होऊंगा बस मेरा बात आप मानते जाइए request है मैं और बढ़िया notes बना कर दूंगा और बढ़िया तरह से class में discussion करेंगे as compared to any term i will be discussing at more grassroots level so that even though if somebody is not accounting or finance background usko cheez samajh mein aaye aapko keval mera support karna hai aur koi ulta pulta whatsapp message mein nahi kar pa raha hu ye hai office nahi nahi zarurat maybe genuine reason theek hai fir august mein exam denge aur kya hoega pass honge fail honge nahi baat karna hai zarur pass honge aap kariye to sari there is no question that you will not pass the exam i am there i am telling you. ओके okay, मैंने ये सब रीड नहीं किया है मैं ऑलरेडी बहुत बार रीड किया मैं सोचा कुछ बोलूंगा टाइम नहीं मिला बट यू रीड दैट इफ यू फाइंड एनी प्रॉब्लम वी विल डिस्कस ऑन डे आफ्टर टुमारो क्लास तो ट्यूसडे को हम लोग कोर एरिया डिस्कस करेंगे आपका कोई डाउट होगा वो डिस्कस करेंगे आगे बढ़ेंगे धीरे धीरे जैसे हम लोग डिस्कस किए वी विल फॉलो लाइक दिस ओनली ओके यस सर सो लिविंग फॉर टूडे मीटिंग ऑन ट्यूजडे इवनिंग अगर आपको मंडे वेनेसडे का क्लास नहीं करना है मत करिए कोई बात नहीं है लेकिन उसका रिकॉर्डिंग जरूर कर लीजिए यार लिख के मत करिए एक क्वेश्चन लिख लीजिए कुछ तो थोड़ा नहीं तो अकाउंटिंग वाला हैंडल नहीं कर पाएंगे आप यस प्रशांत थैंक यू सर थैंक यू